Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is one of one, but you can call me seven and we have returned to sucker for love date to die for I Don't look we have an antagonist, but it's just the just the goat lady and she wants to leave It seems like we're already cooperating with her Which is very different from what I remember the first sucker for love game being about but that was a long time ago So maybe I'm wrong so anyway, we're gonna cooperate with her to try to get her off of this mortal plane because she's sick of all of her followers because they're just keeping her here. So let's see what we can do about that. All right, so this is where we stopped last time, or it was the message before, but um, I just read through it a little bit. First things first, you will need a partner. I am a goddess of lust, so many of your rituals will require you to be in the presence of your ideal mates, your heart's desire. Perform the spawn partner ritual on the next page. Mm, if only it were that easy for people, just spawn partner, like a Minecraft spawn egg. And we're not going to question that? Okay. Let's see. Um, physical form. Oh, there we go. We, we, it lagged a little bit. So we've got... Spawn partner. Light the ritual candles. The color of the flame does not matter, so please choose a color you find comforting. Have your choice of an aromatic herb on your person. Pick a scent you find pleasant. Imagine your ideal partner. If it exists, it will appear before you in a cloud of smoke. If it does not exist, it will be created. Do not imagine something you can't put back. Okay. Color that I like. Uh. Let's go with. I like blue. Blue's a nice color. And then an aromatic herb of your choosing. So we got mint, lavender, rosemary. Are any others? Oh! Aww! What's wrong? So, these followers are kind of like jealous ex-boyfriends, then? You want nothing to do with them, but they won't Actually, let you leave? Yes, that's precisely right. Oh. They're like my exes. And using the same metaphor, uh, oh. if you try to date me, okay. then my exes will hack you to death with Huh, so there's no fixing her, and she's not. she doesn't need to fix me. It's more just like we need to help I her. I guess that last part wasn't a metaphor. Yeah, maybe I should get back to the rituals that's then. That's probably a good idea. Okay. Man, she looks so sad just sitting on the bed. So we got the statue. Okay, so we've got our choice. We've got ro uh, rosemary, lavender, or mint. I like mint and rosemary when I eat, but lavender is really nice to smell. So I'm not entirely sure. I think... I think we'll go with... Let's go with lavender. Lavender's fine. Um, and then I'll draw a symbol that I like, even though it has nothing to do with anything on the ritual. Uh, I like that one. That one is pleasant to look at. Have your choice. Ideal, uh, imagine your ideal partner. If it exists, it will appear before you in a cloud of smoke. If it does not exist, it will be created. Okay, I'm imagining my ideal partner. It's just, it's just Hannah. It's just my girlfriend. <laughs> Let's see. What do we got? Just gotta thoranakia get. Oh. Oh. Well, I see. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! I, I, I can explain. Go ahead. Um, I've got nothing. What is wrong with my taste? <laughs> oh. There's no need to be bashful, especially after oh. all that time you were getting the saxophone, bro. In view of the circumstances, uh. perhaps I will uh -oh. allow you to be my partner. That doesn't sound good. Really? And that's okay with you, even though we just met? Well, it's sudden, and it'll be a long... Oh, long she is broken. Trust a human Damn again. it. Guys, I can fix her. But I'm not exactly the god of taking... I don't like smooch. this. What is this three hearts, three broken heart meter, and then smooch? What? Besides, I already have a thousand children. Oh! <laughs> There's no harm in a thousand oh. and one. Oh, okay. Wait, what are we talking about? Taking me as your partner? I thought you were talking about just being my girlfriend. You thought the two definitions of partners that a fertility goddess was referring to the platonic meaning? Well, yeah. Well, first off, uh, 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 a girlfriend isn't platonic. It's still romantic. I uh, got a romantic connotation. Three meanings of partners. What's the third? Cow cowboys. Are you still joking around while standing so close to me? You should be melting with desire. Being anywhere within a mile I don't know, man. Amplify your I came here to kill fold. you, I think. Oh, that's an easy one. A thousand times zero is zero. <laughs> Wait, 
Are you saying what I think you're saying? Yep. So, I take it you haven't had children yet? Uh-huh. Nope. You No, no. You aren't with child now? No. You're going to die here, and there's nothing I can do to help. Uh -huh. What? I thought we were trying to get you out of here. You're just not gonna help me because I don't have kids? It's not that I won't. It's that I can't. I am an entity of untapped cosmic potential. Uh-huh. And I want a big family. The biggest family possible. Oh. I want every living thing on Earth to be a direct descendant of me or one of my followers. That's where the... Okay. There's the eldritch god that we were looking There's for. Serve that goal. Receive a fraction of my power. I understand. My most devoted followers are bestowed with gifts like extended lifespans, rapid healing, physical enhancement. Oh, Jesus Christ. And in some cases, immortality. And those ones. And those followers. Yeah. Are the ones looking for you. Cool. You, on the other hand, have closed yourself off to my dark influence. Hmm. No kids, no powers. Ain't got none of that. Nope. What if I don't want powers or kids? What if I drained the life from your body and then used it to fertilize my wicked soil until something that will give me grandchildren comes crawling out? I take an involuntary step backwards. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't do oh, that. Oh, why is she so like? What? I don't. I, this is so uh, so much whiplash. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Powers or not, let's move on to the next ritual so we can get out of here. Mm. Okay. Holy moly, that was freaking scary. She's really taking this hard. I better go get the stuff for the next ritual. Gather ingredients for Epicurean feast. Okay, so it says light the. Okay, I don't. I can't use that. Light the ritual. Oh wait, no, this is a different one. Okay, collect the following: meat from a living thing that died within the black woods. Meat rack in the dining room. Milk of the black goat. Store bought two percent is apparently fine too. It's in the fridge. A receptacle filled to the brim with liquid life. Blood, they meant blood. Please use blood from now on. Sorry. Chant while facing red fire candles. Okay. There we go. There's our red. All right. Can we... Do I have to walk all the way out? I think I do. Wait, what was that noise? Oh, it was me accidentally changing the thing. Okay. She's right here. She got anything to say? Hey, you're basically a god, An right? outer god, yes. Uh-huh. If these cultists have been bothering you, couldn't you... I don't know, fight them? What kind of mother would I be if I harmed my children? But you want their... <laughs> uh, well, uh, Okay. But in all seriousness, I can't do anything to hurt my followers directly. Because never in my wildest dreams could I hurt a human. But maybe doing no harm isn't the same as doing good. Y yes, but also what? Okay. Alright, we're out here. Let's, uh... Let's move and- oh, oh, I needed to open the door. Oh, I'm so ready for the jump scares, man. I mean, we are gonna get one, right? Like, that is the idea. So I need to go... I need to go down the stairs... And then to the kitchen and the fridge. Right? Where the hell are the stairs? Am I stupid? Did I go the wrong way? Yes, I did. Okay, I will see you guys in a minute. Alright, here we are in the dining room. I tear a hunk of meat from the hook. This should be what I'm looking for. It smells kind of strange. Is this beef? Pork? Whatever it came from, it was huge. I should move on before I count the number of legs hanging on the hooks. And then we go to the kitchen. Go to the fridge and grab some 2%. This is the milk of the black goat? Just looks like a regular carton of store-bought strawberry milk with a label slapped on it. Oh, a missing label. I guess the cultists would have a hard time getting the real thing from Roxanne now that their relationship has soured. No pun intended. This should be good enough. Hello, sir. And that little face. I hate him. All right, I think we're fine. Should we grab spices or anything? No? Okay, cool. A receptacle filled to the brim with liquid life. B blood. An unsettling amount of it. This is what the ritual calls for? A chill just ran up my spine. Am, am I being watched? I have everything I need. I need to get out of here fast. Okay. This is where the fun begins. Yes? Yes? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is, in fact, where the fun begins. I'm gonna just stay, like, far away from my... from my screen. And I'm just gonna wait until something happens, you know? This is fine. I, I'm safe with the black goat. Hello. Okay. We've got Milk of the Black Goat. 
Yeah, okay. And then we have to face it. Okay, we did it. We chant. Okay, we got all the stuff. Right, chant. Ah, oh, well done. Okay. Looks like you did everything perfectly. Impressive. It looks normal, like wine and meat. <laughs> Nothing to it. If all the rituals are this easy, I'll have you out of here in no time. <laughs> Perhaps so. Oh, why are they playing the saxophone? I, um, I don't want to leave things as they are between us. Oh, your life is she's being sweet. I'm sorry for <laughs> my and you know, Eldritch and whatever. Ugh. Oh, that? I nearly forgot about that already. I'm a little surprised the literal god would bother apologizing to a human at all. I've given it some thought. And while you Blas may be blasphemously, blasphemously abstinent, abstinent, you're the only person in the world that can help me. Okay. You see, if you step within range of my woods... Any desire you have that will lead you closer to me oh. is amplified to such an intense degree that it's unbearable. And most of the time, it's lust. Okay. Anyone who is led here seeking carnal or animalistic pleasures develops the Sacramento stare. And becomes you... a cultist. If you are brought into my woods for any other reason, you don't become one of my chosen thousand, and your desire will make you fut futilely search the woods for what isn't there. Forget to eat and sleep, and you'll search and search until you die of exhaustion and become fertilizer for the woods to grow further. You're the only person to reach me without joining the cult or dropping dead. Thanks in no small part to the fact that you don't have lust to amplify. All right, we're here as a, a, a detached third party. That's fun. So this, this isn't a dating sim. This is like a horror visual novel now with, you know, mommy goat My only as our friend. Is, if you're not here for lust, family, Why are king you and here? country, um, really more, um, you to kill you, actually. I came looking for my parents. They vanished somewhere around here a year ago. This used to be a letter from them saying they were here in this house, but once I got here, it turned into a blank receipt and won't turn the back. The woods have indeed toyed with your emotions to bring you here. That paper was likely never a letter from your parents. Yeah. So they're just still gone. They were likely consumed by my woods no more than three days after they disappeared. I feel like I've been punched in the gut. The dust has long settled on my parents being gone, but the grief never faded. Eight. It'll give you your strength back. The woods won't let you feel how tired you are. I don't feel tired at all, but come to think of it. I felt like I was going to collapse when I made it to this house. I don't think I've eaten since I got the letter, either. I take a few bites, and the tears abate. There, there. It'll be all right, Stardust. Aww. Stardust? How did you know my parents nicknamed for me? So it's not our real name. Got Anything it. Anything that dies within my black woods becomes a part of it. Oh. A part of me. Their memories of you likely live on in me. Okay. I guess that settles it. My parents really are gone. That's the only way she could know that name. This isn't the kind of closure I was hoping I'd find here, but I came here to put an end to the disappearances, and that's what I'll do. Um... I hope this isn't an offensive question, but all the missing people and the people that came looking for them, y you killed them all? I was never supposed to be like this. I came bearing gifts of safe childbirth for infant and mother, hungerlessness, disease immunity. Is that what but instead, you were? My own worshippers tormented huh. me until it broke my heart. Now my woods are bloodthirsty, and I'm Is forced this to watch true? innumerable die. Like I don't know enough about this kind of gods from beyond space, horrors from beyond outer space type stuff to really be able to tell you what is and isn't like, what, you know, makes sense. Or maybe if they're referencing something or someone or yeah, something specific. I don't know. But like, is that the bit? Is it? I don't know if I can trust you. You seem so kind, but, uh. but why? How could somebody do something like that? How could somebody have so much hate How in their hearts? An eternity to accumulate. Oh, uh oh. Coming. Already? No, 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 no. I forgot. Roxanne is just as scared as I am. I need to be more careful with showing fear for her sake. Aw, how considerate. It could just be the house. The place is old and rotten in some places, so sometimes the house shifts on its own. I take a quick look around my room for the sturdiest thing I can find. They left my bass guitar untouched. I'll check it out. It sounded like it came from the kitchen. Oh, hell yeah! We're swinging, baby! I wish I could move. Yeah, I can't. I can only move with my mouse. So, alright. Let's get out there. For, um. For, uh. For Roxanne's, for Roxanne's sake. <laughs> Roxanne, nice. <laughs> Just realized that. Okay. Alright, we're going to the kitchen, yeah? 
Yeah, okay. This is the right way, right? Nope, it's... No, it is. It is, it is, it is. Unless I already... No, 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 I just went backwards. Okay. Okay. Is this fine? Look, at least I have a weapon. I never have a weapon in these games. And a bass guitar is super sturdy. Oh, I went the wrong way. Shoot. Uh, let's go backwards. And then... Oh, no, can I just go straight? Somehow I ended up this way? Whoa! Oh god, a bird tweeted outside. God damn it! I don't know if you guys can even hear that. You might be able to, actually, through my mic. Nobody's here. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. It could have just been the house settling, like I said. Ah! Gotcha! Gotcha, stupid! Haha! -ha! You idiot! My gamer reactions are too fast for you, dumbass! Ah! <laughs> I think that hit knocked him out cold. That made so much noise I can't afford to stick around, but... I don't feel good about letting this maniac wake up and ambush me again. I'll tie them up somewhere I can keep my eye on them. Why is that knife covered in blood? And their hand and arm, too. Oh, I might have accidentally skipped, uh, dialogue? Uh, is there a way for me to... No? Okay. I have to be careful. I can't for the life of me find a wound anywhere on my body, and I certainly don't feel any pain either. I grab a hold of the scruff of the coldest collar and drag them a short distance. They feel... unusually light to carry, but my left arm can't produce any force. What's going on with- What was that? That vision, no matter how much I focus, I can't bring it back, just like the fake letter I received. Are the woods concealing my injuries from me, so I can't tell when I'm about to drop dead? I sling my base over my shoulder bite strap and drag the cultist with my right arm alone. I'm sure this would be torture if I could feel pain or exhaustion. So did they manage to stab me? I think they must have. Alright, we're bringing them back to my room. Music stopped. That's fine. I can handle this. We're baller. We Can I still swing? Oh shit, I can't swing. Never mind. This is not safe. I have to hurry. This is fine, guys. Look, you and me, guys, we're gonna make it far. We're gonna make it far. Don't worry about it. Just you wait. And if anything, Roxanne can help us, right? Or Roxanne. <laughs> Welcome back. What is that? <laughs> it's a cultist. Bass guitar. Not that. The dead body. They're not dead. They're alive, you actually. Took one of the thousand alive? And then brought them here? This is... Very good, actually. Now you have a blood sacrifice if you need one. I mean, I guess. <laughs> well, uh, uh, what, what, what did you say? Some of these rituals require blood or human participants. I mean, nobody's surprised Having here. I didn't even need to give you guys that look. you on a silver platter makes things much easier. I didn't drag them up the stairs so they could be a sacrifice. I tie their wrists together behind a load-bearing post in my room. Now, I'm an outer god, so my moral code is completely different from that <laughs> of humans. Now but didn't they just now I may not understand you? human laws and I you may not really get your sense of morality because we're very different you and I but I believe that they just did the textbook definition of attempted murder just just throw it out there maybe but under that mask this could be someone else who went missing I could never put someone through what I felt when my parents didn't come back the mask is snug against the cultist's face but with a firm yank Oh, it's her! Of Nanny. course it's her. I thought it would be her. Nanny? Uh, Hi. Uh, you! Oh, you're that klutz from Missing Person Lane. Hello. <laughs> you worthless lamb. I forgot I could we'll do this. You. You'll never escape from this town alive. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never escape from this town alive. Psh, 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 psh. <laughs> Sheesh. Maybe I bonked you on the head a little too hard. It's not that. She has the stare. Oh. Her lust for the leader of the thousand, Buck, has been amplified a thousandfold into blind fanaticism. Okay. <sighs> hey, don't try to wiggle out of that. I don't want to have to hurt you. I just needed to make sure you couldn't attack me you again. You think you can steal my book, bash me over the head with a guitar, tie me up, and get away with it? Oh, you're so dead. Oh, I wanted to spray her again. Dang it. What did you expect to thank you? She's it's long gone. It's pointless trying to talk to her. 
If you're insisting on keeping her alive, just do us both a favor and keep an eye on her. All right. If I can do that. If you have to look away, don't turn your back on her for too long. I can do that. I do insist on keeping her alive. If she has the stare, then she didn't choose this. She's just another innocent person who got tricked into coming here. Hey. If you just stay put for now, then I can just let you go after I'm done here, okay? Drop dead. I want to spray you. I sigh and return her mask to her. First things first, I need to do something about my arm. Oh. I can just sort of take the mask and put it on take it off. So I can't turn my back on her for too long. Okay. All right. Got it. Rejuvenate virility. That's not really what I want to hear. So we need to heal injuries. Place a goat skull over your face and light green fire candles. Ensure this symbol is drawn nearby and face a mirror. If the intended target isn't the caster and isn't deceased, draw this symbol instead face them. Oh, I wonder if I can do it on her. I might try it on her. Though I probably need to heal myself first and foremost. So I need this. And I need green candles. Okay. I want to do myself, but I really want to heal her as well. See if that have It's to heal injuries, but it might make her just stronger and like harder to deal with. So I'll just do this. Is draw nearby and face a mirror? Where's my mirror? It's my mirror. I guess my mirror's over here. I think that is a mirror. All right. Well, I think that's all the time that we have for today. Actually, you know what? Here, I will chant this first. All right, let's do it. And showtime. That should do it. I inspect my arm, but I still can't tell whether I'm in pain or not. I can only hope I'm not still bleeding out. That about handles my injuries. Oh. What? Your name is Nanny, right? I'm going to give you your mask back so that you can do the ritual too. I bet that lump aches, huh? What? The one you gave to me? I mean, you tried to kill me, asshole. I didn't mean to hurt you, I swear. You came at me. I was just defending myself. Look, you're hurt. Let me, let me help patch you up and we'll call it even. Like, Deal? Barf me out. Here, now chant. Bottom I of the page. You got more grins bottom. Better? This is gonna come back to bite you. Just wait until I break free. Okay, yeah, alright, big guy. Perform rot bloom. The ritual is required to safely approach the Yick. What a gruesome it's looking wrong. ritual. Just getting the creepy crawlies from this one. It looks like I've got to eat a bunch of stuff in the order to make. Made immortal by my influence. Oh. When you die, the seed will bloom. The okay. That's kind of beautiful, actually. Really? You think so? Yeah, a little bit. I do. While I don't like thinking about dying, it's kind of comforting thinking a part of me will live on, you know? I feel that. I feel that personally. Well, the same could be said about having children. They carry on your legacy long after you die, too. And if you have a bunch of children, it's like living forever. Doesn't that sound nice, too? Sheesh, all this grandkids talk. You're just like my mom. I can work with that. <laughs> <laughs> kidding, kidding. I was only 60% serious. Anyway, that's all the time that we have for today. I think this is a good place to stop because we've done a couple of rituals. Now we have a new friend. Friend. Um, but we will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I definitely did. I'll see you guys soon. I'm just excited to keep going because this is not your average dating sim. So, um, anyway. See you guys in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.